may be seated if you can in the presence of the Most High God. Thank you, Jesus. It's amazing because as I, I, I heard on this week, as I was preparing, not knowing what the Lord was going to have me to say, but then I heard something, you know, uh, when you open up your spirit uh, and not try to hinder and try to put God in a in a bottle, uh, thinking that you know how he's going to approach you and what he's going to say to you, uh, you are likely to hear something you've never heard before. Uh -huh. yes. Yes, sir. You begin to set yourself up for something. Hallelujah, I can't hear that. Yes, yes. uh, uh, that goes beyond exceedingly and abundantly of all you could ever hope, ask, or think. Uh, I can't hear nobody. Uh, it is how we set ourselves up to be obedient to God's word. Jesus! How many realize that sometimes you have to set yourself up uh, uh, to be obedient so mm, I can't hear nobody? That is, do you want to double check yourself to make sure that I'm in right standing? Uh, uh, right alignment, alignment with what, so when the Lord speak, uh, as soon as he hear the word, I, I'm able to catch it like that. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. So as I found myself on this weekend, I uh, I opened up myself and asked the Lord some things. I'm, I'm hearing some things uh, uh, in the spirit, and he's allowing these things to come together. So uh, I don't know for anybody else, but I understand what the Lord was saying is for this house. Uh, y'all yeah, don't hear me. Uh, uh, what God is saying, it, it is for this house, for those that are here, those that are coming, uh, those that will be obedient, those that have been listening. I can hear them. Yes, and then He allowed me to go back on certain things. Hallelujah. Uh, but for those of you that may need a title, a subject matter, expansion to breathe, trusting your release. My Lord. See, see, see. For those of you that are in the balcony, expansion to breathe, trusting your release. My God. And, and as I, I was listening, the Lord was beginning to throw some things back and tell me so I could hear. And isn't it amazing that in the book, of, uh, he took me back to the book of Genesis. And it's amazing because in Genesis, when he said to, uh, he was speaking, and he said, when he formed, and we are many of us know, and in, in, in 2 and 7, he said, the Lord uh, formed man of, his, of the dust and breathed into, into uh, his nostrils, and he became the breath of life, and he became a living being. Sometimes we, we, we have seen, I had to stay right there, because when you, you must understand what it is to breathe uh, uh, when, you, when, when you breathe into someone, when, when you breathe them, when, when you allow them, and this is God that was breathing into man, so he not only breathed, what he did was uh, to breathe that means to expand. Uh -huh. yes, sir. Uh, I can hear that, God. Uh, you must understand when, when we breathe that means when, with our lungs, we expand our lungs when we allow breath to come into us. I said, okay, Lord, uh, this is so amazing. He said, well, you must understand where TKHC is right now. Uh, 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 where we are right now. M many of us, God is doing something that around it, if you just pay attention and I'm just going to try to pull you in. Well, what's going on with your life sometimes and you don't understand because it's a spiritual thing. What's going on now uh, in TKC is prophetically, and yes. it's been ordained from the heavens. Yes. Uh, where others are trying to figure things out, God is laying out the map. And uh, yes. uh, how many Lord. realize sometimes when the map is laid out, some don't know how to read the map, but God is sending uh, uh, the Lord is sending guidance so you can navigate what you're going through right now. Uh, we get lost sometimes because we don't understand navigation. And it's a lot different, you know, when we understand. Give me a map, but it doesn't matter but if I can't read it. Uh, you can show me a map all day long, but if I don't understand how to navigate my way through the map, uh, it's useless. I, I can hear everybody. But God is setting you up now in TKC. He's not only give, giving you the map, uh, it's showing these things that, that are going to happen to you, but show you how to get there. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Mm. So I, I, I was like, oh, okay, Lord, and, and it's amazing because in the in the book of uh, Ezekiel, and this is so awesome because in the in the book of Ezekiel, when when the Lord was saying when He began to 
and saying, prophesy as I commanded uh, uh, you to do it. Uh, as we read, he, he said, well, to, uh, people of God, you must understand. Now, uh, as our lungs expand to breathe, uh, we breathe in uh, more air in the natural, so does our trusting and our release. See, you know how many realize sometimes you, you uh, Take time, that God, many people say, especially the Bible says, the Lord has given my release. Yeah, yeah. Mm. But the problem is you don't trust your release. No, there's one thing to understand that you've been released or something, but there's another thing to trust that you're released. I, I, I can't hear nobody. Uh, I heard the Lord say, yeah, yeah. Uh, they talk all the time. They say, well, the Lord is giving my, my release. Well, okay, if he's giving you a release, you're still in the same place. Hallelujah. I can't hear nobody. Yeah, he spoke to you about saying you have been released. The problem lies is you don't trust your release. See, see, it, the thing is, we must trust our release uh, to move out into uh, to, to, uh, to, uh, exposure. Uh -huh. oh, okay. Oh, my God. God. God is allowing us to take in, to conquer. But the problem is that we don't trust our release. It's just like the breath. You must understand it. And first, this is so amazing because it's prophetic and the Lord has to uh, uh, Mother Priscilla, you must understand that, that, that the time seems first natural, then spiritual. And you pointed me back. You said, well, what I did for Mother Priscilla, you must understand, I will allow breath now to come in. To, uh, I didn't hear nobody. Because you must understand, without breath, we're confined. I, I can't hear nobody. Without breath, without expansion, we stay in one place. Uh, Y'all got 
shall understand, uh, 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 believe the prophet so you shall prosper. Yes. Believe the prophet. See, you, you, you've been coming in here. Let me tell you, because this is for the house now. You got to understand where you fit in. I, I can hear nobody. And I know it's in the spirit as the things are moving. I, I can hear nobody. See? Help us. My God. Yeah. Help us. Help us. Help us. Help us. My God. So when the spirit of the Lord begins to speak, eh, and you say, well, uh, Pastor and co-pastor has said this uh, over my life, and we've been getting called, saying we're, we're coming back, Pastor. We're coming back, co-pastor. I mean, they, 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 they answer to they've been trusting in the relief that God said no it's time for you to return because where you are now is causing you not to breathe uh, uh, you've been trying to do things on your own uh, but the thing is uh, you're caught in this uh, spiritual uh, claustrophobia thing uh, uh, because now every time you try to do something you say somebody talking about you nothing's possible uh, uh, you think I'm uh, Let's take it back to the book of Ezekiel. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Uh, see, so I'm calling. I'm coming unto you and I'm telling you to begin to speak out of your own mouth. Yes, because yes. Uh, uh, as the Lord has said, where you have been is then what place of dry bones. Yes. Yes. See, where you've been, see, because uh, if the bones are dry, that means there's no wind, there's no oh, air going. Yeah. That means you've been thinking what you thought you were doing in the natural, it looks like what well, I got it going on. But your spirit man is suffering, your spirit man has been dying because it's been drying up. I, I can hear your body. Yes. So I come to say to, to speak unto the house of TKAC. Say, say now it's time God is trying to expand. Uh, he's breathing right now. Uh, 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 so your lungs may expand because what he has in store for you, you don't have the necessity, you don't have to be able to breathe. Uh, because and then not only that, trust that is God. You have a relief while I'm in. No, no, but it's more to it. Uh, uh, you got to trust uh, that it is him in your release. So, so, so it's amazing because as he said, the Bible says it's amazing. Uh, he said, he said, he said, so he said, prophesy, I command it. He said, uh, and then they start hearing the noise. Uh. They start hearing the noise. Uh, uh, wind start blowing. Why? Because it's, it's a difference when uh, you start feeling better when, when you know that you're trusting the relief. Yes. Because when, when you start trusting the release, what you're doing is expanding uh, the inside. Uh, and what you're doing spiritually, you're expanding. So when you expand, that means you can take on more. Uh, 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 that means, Lord, do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death? I shall fear no evil. For that me. Why? How? Because my his rod and his staff, it comforts me. Huh? Jesus. So uh, 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 as you as we see men, then, uh, another thing, see, uh, with that claustrophobia, because you know claustrophobia is just a fear anyway. So therefore, when you open up the door for one fear, you open up the door for another fear. I, I can hear you, buddy. So when you open up the door for one fear, there's another fear. Well, he there, let me come and join. And before you know it, you, you just empower all kinds of fear. Because why? You didn't trust the release. God is saying, I, 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 I want to expand you. Well, uh, uh, you've been offered this new position, the head of this new position. Uh, God is breathing. Yes. I can hear the body. He said in, the, in his word, uh, the almighty God breathed out the breath of life. We heard it in the book of uh, 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 Genesis, the book of Job. And we saw the effects in the, in the, book, of, in the book of Ezekiel. Well, I don't know. I, I don't know if I can do that. Uh -huh. mm. I, got my, my. I can do that through Christ and yeah. 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 Understand, TKC, because you're all some bad people, but what you got to understand is now, uh, what's happening now, and look, because it trickles down from the head, uh, what's happening now it is God that is releasing on this house. Yes. Yes. I can't hear nobody. Yes. It is God that is releasing upon this house. Uh, uh, trust the release. I can't hear nobody. God is releasing upon this house because he is breathing in here. And he said in his word many times, 
tell us that his breath is life. Yes. 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 Jesus. Mm. See, the effect, the effect of no ear is that inability of again. Hallelujah. Yes. And then you, we, get, we become irritable. And then some of us become a, a bipolar act. Yes, Jesus. Because you, then, then, then you get so sensitive. You think everybody is uh, against you. Because, uh, no, no. That's that lack of oxygen there. That's right there. You, you, you're hallucinating. You know? Because, no, no. This is the effect. This is a negative effect. That, that when you don't trust God, you open up the door for the enemy. That's all. When the adversary understands they don't trust the God that they say they serve, that's an open door for us to come. Yeah. Yes, sir. They don't trust. They don't trust. They, 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 they don't trust. They've been released. How many times are we gonna hear you say that you've been released from your current situation, but you're still there? How many times are we gonna keep hearing that? Oh, well, God has released me from that. I've been released. Okay, what's your problem then? Why are you so irritable if you've been released? If you The relief. You better believe, but you don't trust it. Yes, it. Oh, yes, so, you, you must, you must understand, understand. The only reason that evil is able to stand to stay up and fight like it does is because the expansion of the lungs. So, do they understand? It's the air that they're breathing. It. Oh. Yes. I can take in more oxygen and more air and expand yes. and I can go further. I, I, see, y'all don't want to breathe. That's the problem. You don't want to breathe. You say one thing, hallelujah, but your actions prove something different. Oh, I want God. I want God. I want... No, you don't. Because when he shows up, you get scared. When he shows up, now you come with all these excuses. How you gonna have an excuse behind you saying God released you? How you gonna have come up with an excuse behind that? Now you know something happened. Well, you know, not this time. Well, I'm gonna get to it, but I something happened. Somebody called me and I had to go. Oh, but God released you. Why are you still fooling up with family that you know don't like you? Why are you still no. fooling up with you? Holy God. That's still talking about you going to that church you go to. Holy God. God has said you've been released. Trust my release. I'll work on that. But if you don't trust my release, I can't work on that. Holy God. Jesus. That, that, uh. Y'all, y'all, see, 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 it's more to it. It's more to it. See, now look at him looking at me, Holy Ghost. Look, look at him looking at me. I thought I was trusting God, but I thought I was trusting him. I, I, I thought I was trusting God. Now, you're not trusting, you, you, you're not trusting the release. And he can't expand you because you don't trust the release. I, I, I breathe my breath of life in you. Trust that it was my breath that is breathing in you. I have released you from that current situation so I can get you to your next destination. But if you don't trust him, you want to come back and tell me, you want to come back and give me excuses. Let me handle this in the release, but you gotta trust my release. All things work together. He says, No good thing without being that work upright before me. Well, if you know you walk upright before me, what are you worried about? Don't brag at somebody else that you walk upright before me, and when it comes down to the nitty gritty, you don't trust me in the release. Stop contradicting me, and before in front of people, you to say something different. Y'all don't want really to talk to me. See, you're doing this lip service, but your actions are saying something totally different from what your lips are saying. Stop trying to impress man. Get yourself lined up. Because you got that fear. You still, you got that spiritual claustrophobia. You don't want to move because you're thinking, well, they're going to say something. What they going to think about me coming back to the church? 
If God has released you, what do you care? God is trying to do something in your life. You don't want to listen because you're afraid what they're going to say about you. That's it. What is talking ever killed anybody? I'm saying I haven't heard anybody saw anybody's grave, they died from people talking about them. They were killed by what they said about them. Holy God. No, sir. See, so we, we, we got to understand TK and see what God is doing, what he's doing. And, and I'm almost done because you must understand things begin to move. See, when, 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 when you're able to breathe, when you're allowing your trust in the release and the breath of God, see, it can't flow, it can't do so much because of the hindrance that you put before it. It is not that God is not able to perform and to do. God is able to perform and to do anything. He's God, he's all right. But he's not going to come up against what you won't do for yourself. The Spirit of the Lord will not come up against yeah. what you because He's given you free will. Yeah. I have a will for you, but if you don't agree with my will, I'm not going to come up against you. Yeah. If your will, man, your man inside don't want to do and trust what I say, what I ask of him. The Holy Spirit is a gentleman. Yes, he is. <laughs> no, you don't have it because you really don't believe it. You don't trust it. You really don't want it. You say one thing. Hallelujah. Yeah. But, but so what if it requires you to do yeah, certain so things? Yeah. So what? Yeah. So what? So what if in your release it requires you to get certain things? Uh, but you're doing it in Jesus' name. Yeah. Yeah. It is not me that you, you perform tricks for man. Yeah, all right. Y'all don't want to hear me. Holy God, y'all don't want to hear me. Y'all perform tricks for man. Oh. But the Holy Spirit asks you to do through obedience. You perform tricks for man to try to get things in man's world. Yes, 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 yes. And then you perform and don't want nobody to know that you perform the trick. Yes, yes, yes. Y'all don't want to talk to me. So you don't want to get all secret to What's that promotion? When that expansion, I was like, oh Lord. He says, he said, if you are trusting that release, then to breathe because then you're able. What you think that you can take on have you have no idea oh if you trust the release. Because expansion means that everything expands. Uh, when you have when, when your lungs expand, that means you can breathe in uh, more air. Uh, a small lung, small air. Uh, large lungs, large air. Uh, I can hear nobody. Amazing because when, when you have to fight for air, that means oh, oh, there's an issue. Yes, Jesus. When you got to fight for air, because he says in his word that I breathe into your nostrils. Yes. Yes. And you became a living soul. Oh, I, I, I breathe, I want your breath in me because yes. if, if you allow me the capabilities, uh, no man can say what you can and you cannot do as long as you have the breath of life in you. Yes. Y'all going to talk to me. Yeah. When, 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 when you read in the book of Ezekiel, and you, you're talking something that was nothing that they counted. Many of you all, uh, I can't hear nobody. Even still, because you're part of this ministry. Yeah. Uh -huh. People want to hear people trying to say this. Why, why, why are you so apt to try to get me from stop going to my church? Yeah. 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 Why are you working overtime trying to talk about me so I stop it? You don't go anymore. So why are you trying to win? What does my hand go to this church have to do with you? Holy Ghost! 
expansion, expansion to breathe because God wants you all to, 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 to do more things. What he's saying in TKAC, I, I, I begin to breathe. And so when, when I begin to breathe, your, your expansion, Sister Sanders, where, where you are right now is not where you last year. Last year. I, I can hear nobody. Y'all better understand. What she takes on now, mm, mm. what's in her now? I know she kind of because God is breathing now, she's expanding. Yeah. I can hear nobody. Yeah. See, that's not only her testimony, that should be others. Yeah. 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 That should be others that have same, got that same testimony. Yeah. Uh, uh, because they're, they're trusting. She, she's in a place now where she's trusting the release that God has placed upon her life. Yeah. See, this is amazing. Now, I'm almost a little off too. Uh, when, when I was being released uh, for more is one thing, like uh -huh. trusting your release is another thing. Yeah. That's the same thing when, when God released me uh, to pastor. Uh -huh. uh, it was one thing where, where uh, I was released. It's amazing, but I wasn't. I was not only released. I trusted. That yes, God sir. released me. Yes, sir. See, it, 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 see, it, yes. see y'all don't understand. It's one thing when, when people say I've been released. And you go out here, you have no idea. Like, it, it's like I've been. I didn't care, it didn't matter. I trusted that God had called me out to the point where I had my pastor and he knew it. I had to tell him, I told my wife, I, I can't go there anymore. That's right. Jesus. I don't know what's in store, but I I'm trusting what my spirit man, what yes, God has put into my spirit. Yes, sir. I can't hear those no uh, God has released me. And whenever God releases you, believe me that he's already planted the seed of expansion in you. God is never going to release without planting the seed of expansion. But the reason why many, like I said, many don't see the expansion because they don't trust the release. Yes, Lord. Never understand that that what how long it takes. See, see, people think that that you're now where God has called you, and this will mean how the enemy attacks because they don't see it out. Uh huh. Uh -huh. But they don't understand. And able to stand, in order to stand, you got to have it underneath first. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Help us! Help us! Yeah. Oh. Help us! Sir. When you have long roots, you don't have to worry about that. Uh, no, no, I, I'm more concentrated on my roots. I need strong roots Help right now. Us. Yes, sir! See, it's my roots, so when that thing starts going astray, what you see up on the top has nothing to do with underneath. See, because an iceberg is larger underneath than it is. Yes, yes, yes. But all people, ooh, that's a big iceberg. That's nothing compared if you flipped it upside down. Yes. If you were able to flip an iceberg upside, topside down, or what have you, it's a lot larger. So yeah. what am I saying to you all? What God is doing now into this ministry, and don't be, don't be. Uh, uh, deceived by those that you're going to see coming in. Yes, and the reason why they're coming in, no matter what they are, no matter what they've been going through, uh, they've been going through some things, but you got to understand what they've been going through is for a purpose yes. because of the fact that they recognize that that spiritual, I can't yes, claustrophobia is unsettling. You yes. can't breathe, you can't move things around you, are yes. prospering, moving to the point where they're, they're being choked out. Yes. Claustrophobia is like the first thing, it's like someone's taking your air. You begin to hallucinate. Lack of oxygen will destroy you. If you've been moving around with the lack of oxygen and things, you can't perform functionally properly when you're not breathing properly. Am I right, brother? You can move a little, but you're not moving. You don't have the energy to do this. You don't have the energy to do that. You get tired. But God is saying, take on my breath. Take on my breath, TKC, and trust in my release. Yes. Yes. Because you all have been released to do mighty things. Yes, God. I can't hear nobody. You all have been released from the young to the old to the middle. It doesn't matter. Yes, sir. If you're connected to this ministry, 
See, I don't know about anybody else's ministry, yes. but I'm talking about what I know that God is doing right. here. Yes. And God is breathing. Yes, he is. Thank you, Lord. Yes, God. Yes, he is. Mr. Derrick, am I right? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, he is. Thank you, Jesus. I, so I know God is doing some things. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. I, it's trusting, it's trust. I don't You're going to have to do this on your own. I can't hear nobody. You're going to have to do it on your own. It's here, but if you don't accept it on your own, there's nothing we can do for you. The Holy Spirit is a gentleman. And if you want to keep going back and forth, hitting your head, and you're doing that because you're doing it out of delirium, you're delirious, you're bumping up walls and things of that nature, because you're not getting the proper oxygen, the, the breath of life. God is trying to breathe into your nostrils and you all stuffy and everything. Jesus. So like he did in the, like he spoke in the book of Ezekiel. And, and, and I'm done. Then you shall know that I, the Lord, has spoken it and performed it. Save the Lord. My time is up.